As we welcome in Mike Conley to SportsCenter. Mike, big night for you last night. What does it mean to be recognized for more than just your on-court play, but by your teammates and opponents? Um, you know, really, it's just truly an honor. Um, I can't say it enough uh, to be able to be basically voted in by your peers and your competitors, your teammates, guys that, um, you know, you sweat and bleed with on the floor. Uh, it means a lot, you know, because we're all great basketball players, but um, to really get to see another side of people um, and, see, and people recognize the, the person, you know, behind the jersey is really cool. So um, just, just uh, trying to continue to build off of it and, um, and, and continue. Hopefully I'll win another one uh, in, in the years to come. Oh, yeah. You got you to gotta manifest it to the universe. You will. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you spent 12 seasons with the Grizzlies. Last week you were traded to the Jazz. Now that you've had some time to get settled and process everything, how are you feeling about the move? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling confident. Um, it's almost like an injection into the arm, man. I'm really just excited uh, to get out there and get things going. I've been really anxious to get to work and um, had the opportunity to work out with Donovan Mitchell uh, while I was down here in L.A. and um, really get to spend some time with some of the guys and uh, got to spend time with Rudy last night at the event. So it's really cool to, to you know, be a part of such a great unit, uh, a great tight-knit group of guys, uh, a very family atmosphere. So I'm excited to get, get out there and, uh, and get things rolling. Now, you mentioned that picture that your sister took on Instagram of you and Donovan Mitchell. It caused a stir yesterday on social media. Are Zach Lowe even saying that adding you to Utah makes it a legitimate contender next season, the team? What are your expectations heading into the new season with the guys? Well, I think it's just that. You know, we feel that we, we will have a team that can, that can contend. Um, and I think that, you know, they were already a very, very good team, you know, without me coming in there. And uh, I'm just trying to come in and, and seamlessly make that transition, uh, be a guy that can come in and, and, and you know, with my leadership and um, all, you know, all the things in my experience that I've had uh, throughout my 12 seasons can try to help this team, you know, reach that next level. So um, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Um, and I think that's what that's what's great about the situation. We've got a bunch of guys who are willing to do whatever it takes to win and uh, great coaching staff behind that, so we're excited. Now, I know you're really good friends with Marcus Sol. Has he given you any tips on transitioning to a new team? Um, you know, he texted me, you know, right when I got traded and asked me how I was feeling. Um, and, uh, you know, I told him everything, like, you know, I'm going to miss Memphis and, and it's going to be tough, but, you know, I'm excited for the opportunity. And I told him that I'd see him in the championship, and he said that's what I like to hear. So I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to hopefully get that opportunity. You're excited and Utah is excited. Thank you so much, Mike, for hanging out with us on SportsCenter. Good luck this coming season. Thank you very much.